Time for One Stop Shop Real Estate, revolutionizing real estate with your host, Sal Kochecki. Hello there and welcome to the show. My name is Sal Kochecki and I am just excited to be here. Uh, in the next hour, we're going to be talking about all facets of real estate. What do you do when you want to sell a house? What do you do when you want to buy a house? We're going to be talking about investment uh, properties. Uh, we're going to be talking about a little bit of commercial properties, vacant land, offices, what you may have. Also, we have different programs for those of you who want to cash out out of the property. So wherever you are and you're listening to this show, I suggest that you do not touch that dial even though you are not in the market to buy or sell a piece of property, I'm sure we have so many exciting things to tell you that may be good for, for your perhaps parents. You may know a relative or maybe a neighbor that you can tell them about it. There's so many good stuff that we're going to be talking about. Now, I'm talking about revolutionizing real estate. Well, that's a little bit of a strong work. Of course it is. Because I believe by changing times, uh, Things need to, be, need to be done a little bit different in the way uh, that whoever is going to represent you in your transaction needs to do just a bit more. And I have been in this business for 30 years. Uh, I don't want to give you the exact years, but over 30 years, <laughs> even over my age over here. But, uh, you know, I came here as an immigrant young teenager to this country and when I got out of college I uh, decided one day that I wanted to get into real estate and it's been wonderful it's been wonderful so I street the walk uh, walk the streets of uh, Central Florida and I learned everything the hard way and I hope these experiences that I have gained uh, doing the traditional real estate or investment real estate uh, for what I have learned can help many of you out there, and hopefully we can educate you as we go through this show. With me today in the studio, I have my, uh, what do we call you, a sidekick? Yeah, <laughs> I have a dear lady, a good uh, member of my team. Arcoma is with me in here, and she's going to be... Uh, kind of helping me through the show and uh, at one segment. I guess she is a specialist in leasing property for those of you who want to lease properties. And she'll be uh, educating you and giving some of her products there. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. I'm excited to be here. Um, Sal, can I ask you how you got interested in the real estate business? I know you were a local guy, but how did you get interested? Yeah, well... Uh, I always tell the people, you know, when I was uh, young uh, and I started in real estate, you always think, always say, oh, real estate, maybe, you know, uh, prices are way up there. Is it a good time for me to get into real estate? It's never, never too late to get into real estate because it never stops the population growth. There is need for housing. And uh, we happen to be in one of the best places if not in the world, in the country, as far as growth and the demand for real estate. So I always told myself at that time when I wanted to get into real estate, I said, I'm a young man, this is a young town, so where can you go wrong? So I went and got my real estate license, and from there on, of course, you know, you're trying to find your niche, and you go on from there. And it's wonderful, wonderful, it's been wonderful for me. I raised my family here and uh, two kids. And um, I thought I did very well uh, serving uh, the people of Central Florida with the real estate needs. And, uh, you know, it's been over 30 years and I could not think of anything else that I would have uh, wanted to do in the last 30 years. So I'm going to start the show uh, to tell you um, about buying. For those of you who want to buy a house, those of you who want to sell a house, and then we'll talk in a segment about investment property. But uh, let's talk about 
those who have a house for sale. Now, as a for whatever reason that you have a property, a house you want to sell, I would suspect the first question is, okay, who do I hire to do the selling of my house for me? You know, uh, Arcoma, I have heard so many times, people, uh, of course, you know, real estate is the biggest asset that people own. And the people say, okay, you know, my neighbor has a real estate license or my niece or whoever the situation is. Uh, she got her license a few months back. All of that is good. But what is not uh, good is that you need to know the person that is going to negotiate a transaction for you when you sell your house is handling your biggest asset is handling your money, which means if you were to sell a house which was $350,000, let's say we just pick a number, is this person articulate enough? Is it, does it have or she have the negotiating skill to negotiate the right deal for you? Because if you put your house on the market for $350,000 and somebody comes in and look at your house and offers you, let's say, 330000 which is 20000 on the market, and what is the qualification of this person to have those negotiating skills to go back and be able to answer every question, be able to uh, talk with his counterpart, trying to get the most money for you? And... But just doing one or two or three deals, people are not really doing you the best. I mean, real estate is a lot of, lot of experience when you talk about, you know, trying to get the best uh, money for your house when you sell it. So I have in my lifetime, and this is not just beside traditional real estate, I have purchased, and we were talking about investment real estate, in my own personal portfolio, hundreds, and I mean hundreds of property that I purchased for myself. So every time I went to buy a house, it was money out of my pocket, so I negotiated the deal because I wanted to make sure that I kept the most money in my pocket. So once I wanted to sell the very same property, whether after I fixed it up or remodeled it, renovated it, then I had to negotiate the same uh, property as a seller and so again i was thinking about the money in my pocket now once you do that hundreds of times for yourself or you buying property and then you do that hundreds of times when you sell it this is all experience that you gain every time you have to encounter these negotiations and you learn exactly what to do in order to bring the most money so then you ask me, if I could do this thing for myself, can I do the same negotiation for you? Of course, this has been my experience. I've been at it for 30 years. It is very different if somebody does not have those qualifications or does not have those uh, skills to be able to handle a property. I mean, selling a property is not just about taking a property, putting in the computer, an MLS, or however they market it, and waiting for somebody to call. There is a lot more to it. Now, in the next segment, I want to go into some of the factors and the things that uh, we are going to do in order to sell your property for more money and quicker. But remember, the number that you need to remember uh, is 407-222-3333. 407 222 3333, and we are going to go away and we come back after. This. 